Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 8 tutorials. So guys in this specific video we are going to implement Laravel 8 Stripe payment gateway integration. As you can see I have already created a notepad file right here which contains all the necessary requirements and the steps that we need to follow if you want to implement Laravel Stripe. So the requirements are first of all you need to have Stripe account. The other requirement is you should have Composer pre-installed and the third one is basic idea of PHP and Laravel. So in case if you are watching this video that means that you have specific or basic idea of PHP and Laravel. So yeah guys uh, let's start with the step one. So first of all what we need to do is we need to have a uh, we are in this case we are going to create a fresh or new Laravel project using this command. So you don't need to type all these command because I'm going to provide the whole notepad which contains the steps guides and the code i'm going to provide this uh, the whole notepad in the description of this specific video so yeah guys let's copy this code first of all i'm going to rename my project from stripe to stripe one because i already have a project named stripe why because i was creating a lecture in hindi urdu so all i'm going to do is copy this command from right here let's move to git bash and uh, right here you need to first access the htdocs folder after that you are going to paste it right here okay so composer create project preferred distribution laravel slash laravel stripe one hit enter now this command is going to take some time to execute so meanwhile i'm going to pause this specific video once it's done i'm going to resume it so yeah guys now we have uh, a fresh laravel project so let's proceed to the second step which is installing stripe via composer so right here once again i have a command i'm just going to copy this from right here and let's move to git bash but first we need to access the stripe one folder that we just created or you can say the fresh laravel project so cd stripe one just like that now i'm going to put that command the second step command right here and let's uh, let's it uh, we are going to wait uh, until it's uh, the execution gets completed so i'm once again going to pause the video okay guys so second command is uh, executed successfully so now we can proceed to the third step which is creating a stripe account so let's move to the browser right here i just want to show you something in my case i already have an account uh, which is logged in right here you can see okay this is the home page but I just wanted to tell you something so in your case if you have an account you can simply log in but if uh, let's say you don't have it you are going to uh, click on sign up okay you are going to put your uh, email full name and selected country uh, for which you are developing an application for and the password okay so uh, stripe is not supported in, let's say in all the countries so what you need to do is you need to select or check if it supports your related country let's say if you want to implement it uh, implement it for united states or somewhere else so, okay so in my case i'm using uae which is uh, not my country but it is in the middle east area so yeah this is the closest one so that's why i have selected the uae okay so all you need to do is uh, select the country from right here and just create the account once you are done you are going to be redirected to uh, a dashboard like this where you can uh, see the home page so let's move to uh, notepad once again so we have successfully completed step three because i already have an account so step four is after completing the step three you are going to uh, have access to the publishable and secret key let me show you so let's move to from the dashboard i'm going to navigate to developers api keys and right here you can see the publishable key and the secret key so let's reveal the secret key you are not going to reveal these uh, let's say keys with anyone else in my case this is just for the demo purpose i'm not going to use these keys anywhere uh, in my project this is just for the demo and testing purposes okay so you don't reveal these secret keys okay so yeah guys uh, we have our publishable key and the secret key so that is the step four let's move to step five create a checkout controller so let's copy this from right here controller command let's move to get batch once again let's paste it right here okay yeah guys now i just want to show you that we have the controller and the stripe installed successfully for that let's move to sublime let's access our project which is uh, inside the ht docs and the name is stripe one this one okay so yeah let's close that all and let's move to uh, vendor first of all let's verify that we have a stripe right here 
so right here you can see the stripe folder structure is already there so yeah we have this stripe okay it's installed now let's move to app or actually I can simply search so check out controller just like that this is our controller okay so let's move forward let's move to step 6 where we need to uh, paste the routes that I have already created or abstracted from the websites okay so I have abstracted all this information from different sites so that we can uh, let's say implement uh, the procedure smoothly okay so yeah guys let's move to sublime let's move to web.php right here and I'm going to paste it right here, just like that okay so this is uh, the route this one specifically related to Laravel 8 if you have Laravel 7 you can remove this okay guys so yeah we have one get and post request for checkout pages let's proceed forward okay the step 7 is we need to paste the below code which is right here and we need to paste it inside our checkout controller so I'm going to copy everything from right here from right here till here and let's move to sublime let's move to checkout controller copy everything and remove it and let's paste our code okay so yeah guys now right here we need to define our secret key uh, as you can see from the comments so let's move to google and i'm going to copy my secret key and i'm going to paste it right here okay as simple as that now uh, i just wanted to let you know that from the stripe side the minimum amount uh, that we uh, that stripe is going to accept is 100 cent so you uh, let's say if you are defining something else you should bear in mind that you should at least define the value of 100 okay so just keep that in mind okay in my case i'm using uae so uae currency is aed which is dirham so that's why let's say if you are using uh, usa or something like uh, something else so you need to define the relevant currency right here okay so now uh, we have our code right here in the controller let's move forward okay and let me just tell you from here we are going to create a view uh, that is uh, the name would be credit card okay credit card view and the folder it is going to exist in the checkout folder so yeah let's move to uh, notepad and let's proceed forward uh, for further so create new folder inside view name checkout and create a new file as i said so let's move to views guys and right here resources views i'm going to create a new folder with the name checkout as you can see it right here okay now we need to create this file credit card okay so from in the checkout i'm going to create a new file let's save it first of all and name it credit card dot blade dot php just like that okay now simply we can copy and paste the code from right here okay i'm going to give you this whole code in the description of this specific video okay so you don't need to type it okay guys let's paste it right here now let's move up because right here we need to define a public publishable key so yeah let's remove this let's move to google copy the publishable key and paste it right here just like that let's move to notepad okay and the next step is to test the stripe payment integration okay so for that we need to run our project so what i'm going to do is php artisan serve and let's uh, let's access our project right here so localhost and slash checkout okay so if you are confused why are we uh, like using checkout so it's defined right here guys okay so this is the one controlling and right here you can see we are using this route we are hitting this specific method which is right here and using which we are going to uh, do the payment okay in our case so yeah guys uh, now we need some dummy data in my case uh, this is for the testing purpose so you what you need to do is you need to type the same information and for the rest of the information except the card you can simply uh, type anything except today so let's say you can type 11th and fab and whatever you want okay so yeah let's put that right here so card number is 4242 which is just a dummy okay just like that and let's move to month 12 and the year is let's say 32 and cvc is 123 and the zip is 12345 just like that let's uh, pay click on the pay and right here you can see we are able to see the success message which is coming from right here after the success we are hitting this specific method so now the payment is done we can verify it on our dashboard let's move to payments 
okay so this is the latest payment payment from all about laravel succeeded february 10th and you can see the time right here okay so yeah guys stripe payment integration is working successfully and that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe share and yes guys i'm going to bring some more uh, like uh, useful stuff uh, related to laravel uh, 8 and further so uh, subscribe to my channel that's it that's all i want i need your guys support that's it okay so yeah guys bye take care and see you next time